everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm just going to show you at request, kind of, of a couple of bits that I have picked up from Asda. Um, picked these up a while ago uh, but I, I did mention in my Wake Me Up Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation review that I got or that I got a bit of, a couple of bits from Asda. But this is actually George at Asda. I just realised I'm not even wearing lippy. Let me just take on some because I feel slightly naked. <laughs> okay, so the first thing, in fact I'm wearing all three of these things today. There's only three. So the first thing that I picked up was this uh, George Satin Soft Coal Pencil. Okay, and it's just a black coal pencil um, and it goes on like that, like so. Um, it is it's what I've got on my waterline today, you can see. Um, if you want to see this eye look as well, I'll be doing a tutorial on it, I think. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so as you can see, it is pretty dark. It's not black, black, like, it's not as quite as intense as, you know, the scandalised by Rimmel. Um, or I'm sure other higher end ones that I have not tried because eyeliner smudges on me no matter how much I pay on it, pay for it. But it comes with this little smudgy thing at the end, you know, like the Benefit Bat, is it Bad Gal? No. Benefit, whatever, um, black eyeliner, um, which is quite good for smudging. Um, I don't tend to smudge black eyeliner quite a lot uh, because I usually only put it in my waterline. Um, but whenever you do smudge it, you can see there's like a, some sort of like weird greeny tinge to it. So I wouldn't really fancy smudging it. But I think it was only two or three pound if I can if I can get the price. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. Um, I didn't even order it. I ordered the there was like a retractable one, um, and I ordered it. But of course you get substitutions with most of the things that you really really want from us. <laughs> No, that's unfair. But I, I tend to always get substitutions and the things that I'm like so excited about getting. I know I should go to Asda, but I don't have a car. Anyway, tangent. Um, I get my Asda order delivered. So yeah, that's it's decent for the price. Um, and it is. It does smudge a bit. And it comes down a bit, but I have really watery eyes. So if you don't have really watery eyes, then it might be decent and especially if you're in a pinch and the only thing around you is Asda it's good to know that um, they have some quite decent iron. Okay next thing is this uh, George Fiber Lash Mascara which again I'm wearing today. Do I do no fluttery? Ah. Um, it is in black of course. It I quite like the packaging of this actually Although obviously if you've got makeup y hands like I do, um, it can get quite grubby. I've used it about probably about five or six times now. Um, it says it contains 3D fibres to extend and curve lashes. Now I've got quite long lashes and quite curly lashes anyway, but they're very fair, so usually I go for something that volumises them um, and obviously darkens them so you can actually see them. Um, the wand itself is kind of like an hourglass wand. You can see that kind of, you know, um, you can't see the fibres as such, you know, it's not like that weird one, I don't even know the name of that, I'm not even sure if you can get it in the UK, it's not like that, you know, it's fluffy, um, but it's decent. Um, it does smudge again, but if most mascaras smudge on me again with the oily eyelids and watery eyes. I sound so attractive, don't I? Um, but it, it's a decent mascara and it's nice and black and it, again, I think was less than a fiver. So I'll put the price if I can find it on the screen again. And last thing I got, which again I didn't order, it was replaced, um, is the Cheeky Tint. So it's kind of like um, the Benefit Bene tint when it's a different colour or the Lolly tint when it's a slightly different colour. Um, and I ordered the dupe for the high beam. There's like a, a highlighter one like this. 
Um, I ordered it, but it didn't come, and um, this came instead. So it comes like in the wee kind of nail polishy looking pot, like the benefit one, um, and with a wee brush. I'll show you it that way. Um, as you can see, it's like a candy light pink colour. Um, it's like so. Um, it is very sheer, and whenever you blend it out, it's even more sheer. I do have it on my cheeks today, but I've got quite rosy cheeks anyway. It's nice for a bit of, um, you know, like if you're going for a really natural makeup look. Um, but it's not something that I tend to reach for because I like something with a bit more colour and a bit more <laughs> obvious. Um, so, yeah. So those are the three things that I have picked up from George at Asda. Um, if you want to know any more about them in a bit more detail, let me know in the uh, comments. Um, if you see anything as that you think that I should pick up and try, because I know there's like some eyeshadow quads and that, and they look pretty good. So let me know if you've anything from George. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.